Welcome back to the past in the workshop. Indeed, this is not the present, this is the past. And on yesterday's episode, you saw me make some glorious hooks for my welding helmets, which has already proved to be extraordinarily practical to be able to hang all that stuff up. But, first things first, before we get into today's episode, I did a little driving, we did a little uh, cleaning up of Barker Street, we came back. We emptied out the truck, and here we are. And what we're gonna do today is... This is my uh, spacesuit electric. It has a fan inside it, and it blows air into my mask. But this thing is a little bit annoying because I have to keep it on a bench over there with the helmet, right? And, and it just it just gets to be a little bit of a hassle. I walk over here every time I need to use it. I've got to pick it up the bench to use it. I think we can design something a little bit better. So obviously I use this mostly in the grinding room. So my thinking is whereabouts, close to the grinding room, could we keep this? And how could it be easily accessible? And I think I'm gonna make myself up a mount for this so that I can pick it up like that. It'll come on. Oh, yes. And how about when it comes off? When it comes off like that, boom, rack it in. That's the answer for this. We're gonna go to the whiteboard in just a sec. And for this, it's gonna be the exact same hooks we made over there yesterday. Another hook that just goes right up there. So, let's head to the drawing board. So, thanks Jamie. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is what it's gonna look like. Obviously, our pack there, okay, they do. Our pack has a bulge like this, then it goes down into the leather strap, right? Looking at it in three dimensions, that pack comes out about two inches or so. Nice engineering drawings. My hook, if we're looking at it from the side, needs to do something like this so that it'll kind of slot up high enough on here that this pack, because it has a relatively high center of gravity, doesn't roll off the hook. We want it to slot down like this instead of slotting down horizontally, but we need to make sure it doesn't fall off. So I'm gonna to need to make hooks that have a relatively, uh, relatively long up part of the hook. The up part of the hook is a very uh, technical word indeed. And of course, for the helmet, we're gonna need the same hook we made the other day, and that's gonna be uh, four inches down, four inches across, roughly three quarters of an inch up. Let's go to the fire. First, a little rasping. Let's determine the exact height we need. 91 millimeters. Now, on yesterday's episode, you saw me use the anvil to lay out where it was that we we're gonna do the bends. Another way of doing this is taking a fuller and, and doing the same thing at a lower temperature. So, we'll mark it out. There we go. This is a fuller line. That's a bend there. Another fuller line. Whoa. For another bend. Here's a center punch mark for a hole. Center punch mark for another hole. And I'll use the center punch mark just on the side of the material there for our chisel. And I'll just transfer those marks on over. And bing, bang, boom, ting. There we go. So this is the bracket for the uh, the electric fan unit housing thing for watching. I'm gonna need tongs to hold it. So let's have a look, see and see if I got anything that, oh, first try. That's, that's great, good luck. And so into the fire we go. And since we have just a few seconds, I'll use this opportunity to lay out the helmet hook. So again, remembering the measurements from the other time. Pull a mark, pull a mark, punch, punch, chisel. Right. These pieces are hot to start forging. Here we go. Those full of marks show up nice, nice and clearly here at these temperatures. And so I'll start working side to side, middle, side to side middle and the reason I'm going side to side is when we're trying to move material we want as little resistance as possible we can get as little resistance as possible by reducing our surface area so by going side to side we're creating little kind of notches there I got that one nice and bent and crooked so yeah we reduce the surface area contact which means we do more with each blow next heat we're gonna punch the holes <laughs> well in fact we're actually not working on punching the holes first thing that we're gonna do we're gonna do the same thing again on the other one, since we have the two pieces in the fire. Still got some heat left. 
Stop punching a hole. Ugly ugly. We'll now pop the plug out of there with a small punch, just like yesterday. Didn't quite line it up perfectly again, so they're just hanging on by tiny little thread. There we go. There are the plugs. Oh no! We forgot the touch mark! Never forget the touch mark. As you just saw, I put myself in uh, quite the big of the quite the bit of the predicament there. But that was silly. I designed these so the screw holes. <laughs> the hook covers the screw holes. That's terrible. That can't work. I'll have to start again if this doesn't if this does not work. Pardon me. But I'm gonna attempt it to just see something. Can I do an interesting enough bend on here that gets it out of the way and? means that this mistake isn't, isn't too... <laughs> I mean, I just can't believe myself. That is just terrible. <laughs> that actually looks pretty freaking awesome. Oh my goodness. I, that's a shock horror. I did not think this would look anywhere interesting. Sometimes I, I, I do confess my own stupidity really astounds me. Sometimes just truly, truly shocking. How silly I could be. Oh, this one looks better than the last one. I really messed up on the last one. This one's a million times better. Well, uh, that was a serious mistake and very silly of me. I'm gonna start again on some new pieces for that. First things first, I'm gonna work on the helmet hook. So we're gonna do that and then we're gonna start all over again on some brand new fan motor air feeding and purifying hook mounting things. Happens the opportunity to fix them. And so, back into the band, so we go. There also comes the opportunity to design it so that we can actually screw uh, into the hook and mount it on a wall. So we'll go 70 mil up, 90 mil back, and we'll go a little higher so we can get screws in it. So when all said and done, we're gonna full up at 70 mil, full up. 90 mil from the cut, 160 mil, throw some holes in there, and we should be just fine this time, hopefully. You can edit that out, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might want to put these on, Jamie. There we go. Perfect. Again. I messed up again! Again! I'm a full inch and a quarter off. That's terrible. Okay. So this is that first one again, the one that I, I didn't mess up. Well, we'll see. I might have messed something up. At this rate, I probably messed something up. But let's do the bends. Yes! I will be able to fit my drill in there. Let's make sure that it's all nice and square. Put my touch mark in it. There we go. So, out of four attempts, we have one success. That's not good. Oh, hello. I think we can get our last and final hook out of the off cut. So, 
again, we'll do a little bit of a linseed oil finish. Now, however, the pieces are cold. So as I said yesterday, it's gonna be interesting to see how the difference between the cold finish and the hot finish holds up. In this environment, it's pretty dry. You know, it's not actually a very damp workshop, thankfully, unlike, uh, unlike the old workshop that was that was, that was a damp workshop. I don't think there's gonna be any noticeable or appreciable difference, but of course, it's just a slightly thinner coating and it tends not to be quite as durable. Oil spill. Just get a little more linseed oil. At least you didn't waste it. I know, absolutely, you gotta use all of it. Gotta use all of it. Screw time! Every time, you gotta say something wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six, and an extra one, because knowing me, I'll probably end up dropping one behind the lathe. Uh, hold on. After you've messed up five times, do you not think you should mark this wall properly before you randomly screw these in? Hang on a second now, Jamie. There is not a chance that I'm gonna mess this up. So yeah, you know, always make sure that you, uh, you measure where it is. Where it is that you place your screws. <clears throat> As you can see, you do a good measuring first time. That's going to be nicely, uh, nicely centered there on the wall. He's going to mess this up. What? All right. <laughs> what was that, Jamie? Oh no. <sighs> we'll come back to it. We're back. So now, just gotta work out where it is I wanna hang this. I think right about there, should be perfect. Looks good. We've done it! And we still have one screw to spare. Ah, there we go. Great, let's see if it works. So, we're in this, and I'm wearing this. Boom, take this off. Oh, and success! Yes, I have been waiting so long to do that. The amount of time I've had to walk between this place to go pick it up off that table, this is satisfying to get organized. In yesterday's episode, we made this awesome welding hat rack. Holy moly, it has been a blast having you in the workshop. I hope that you've been enjoying these two episodes. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow on the next episode. Be sure to hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. Be sure to drop a like, leave a comment, and uh, we will see you tomorrow on the next episode. Bye-bye.